steigende Strompreise bilden in der Vergangenheit an. Machen Sie sich unabhängig von Strompreiserhöhungen und produzieren Sie Ihren eigenen Strom. Mit einer Solaranlage von Walter Solar. Wir erstellen auch für Ihr Gebäude ein individuelles Energie- und Sanierungskonzept und sorgen damit für Planungssicherheit und Betriebskostenstabilität. Denn die Sonne schickt keine Rechnung. Walter Solar. Ihr Weg in das solare Zeitalter.
kommen wir hier in Stuttgart zum letzten Qualifikationsturnier der FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy Saison 2022 zusammen. In den nächsten Tagen, das ist seit gestern und heute, werden wir sehen, wie die zukünftige Generation von Athleten auf ihren Ponys an der Seite einiger der größten Idole der Welt des Sports antritt. Serien wie die FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy stellen eine einzigartige Gelegenheit für unsere aufstrebenden Stars da, um sich einen Namen zu machen und können als Sprungbrett für die Zukunft auf dem internationalen Parkett der Großen dienen. Der Ehrgeiz und das Streben nach Exzellenz dieser jungen Teilnehmer kann einfach nur bewundert werden. Dank der kontinuierlichen Bemühungen von Organisatoren, Freiwilligen, Offiziellen und Sponsoren können wir unseren Sport kontinuierlich gedeihen sehen und bei denselben Turnieren wie die besten Springsportler der Welt anzutreten, ist für diese jungen Leute eine unglaubliche Erfahrung. Auf allerhöchstem Niveau wird hier in Stuttgart nunmehr zum vierten Mal die Jumping Ponies Trophy in Folge stattfinden und führt regelmäßig beim Publikum zu großer Bewunderung und Unterstützung dieser unglaublichen Talente und unvergessen, wie bei der letzten Auflage 2019 das Stuttgarter Publikum jeden Teilnehmer im Stecken mit rhythmischem Applaus über die letzten Hindernisse getragen. 23 Paare sind es. Wir schauen auf die Linienführung. Unser Spot beleuchtet bereits Hindernis Nummer 1. Ein Ochser zum Auftakt. Wir reiten über 1,35 Meter mit den Ponys. Weiter geht es zu Hindernis Nummer 2. Dieser Steilsprung, bevor es dann auf eine Rechtswendung geht, zum Steilsprung der Ensinger Mineral High Quell. Unsere Partner in dieser Prüfung. Weiter zu Hindernis Nummer 4. Es wartet ein Ochser mit den weiß und den grünen Farben. Danach dann oben bei Ihnen vor der kurzen Seite Hindernis Nummer 5. Dort ist die nächste Aufgabe als Steilsprung konzipiert. Bevor es dann aus der Wendung herausgeht, linke Hand weiter zu diesem schmalen Steilsprung mit diesen Wellenflanken und dieser einfarbigen weißen Stange als höchstes Element. Kombination in der Folge 7a, 7b mit einem Galoppsprung dazwischen. Ochser steil und dann ein bisschen zu galoppieren, bevor wir dann vor dem Ein- und Ausritt zu Hindernis Nummer 8 kommen. Einem Ochser mit grauen Stangen, dann ein bisschen gebogen die Linie zu Hindernis Nummer 9. Es wartet der Stuttgarter Fernsehturm als nächstes. Distanzaufgabe zu Hindernis Nummer 10 und spät im Parcours. Eine dreifache Kombination, 11a, ein Steilsprung, Ochse als mittleres Element und Hindernis Nummer 11, C als Aussprung. Und dann sind wir nach 430 Meter im Ziel, wenn wir über Hindernis Nummer 12 springen, dem Ochse der Stuttgart German Masters. 74 Sekunden der Laufzeit, 12 Hindernisse und 15 Sprünge. Hervorragende Teilnehmer, umgekehrte Startreihenfolge übrigens. Zu der Prüfung gestern. Es geht um die Qualifikation für die 20 Besten des Rankings für das große Finale zwischen den Jahren im belgischen Mechelen. Und hier kommt unser erstes Paar. Mit einem 17-jährigen Pony von Ben Romeo's Bay. A very warm welcome to you all to uh, Stuttgart, the uh, German Masters of 2022. We are set to get underway 
with the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy. It is uh, their Grand Prix, the jump-off class for these 23 very talented young jockeys. This uh, FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy that is uh, very much designed to uh, promote the sport to the youth and it certainly brings out the best youth jumpers from around Europe and it gives them their chance alongside some of the uh, big names of the sport on the same bill with the five star riders. This uh, jump off track set by Christy Jung, our course designer alongside Louis Connix and uh, Raf Hollenbach has a time allowed of 74 seconds. 12 obstacles, 15 jumping efforts and as you can see Marvin Kenzozilia is the first to go riding for Germany. 15 years of age Well in Hagen this year. Pony Flame, 17 years of age. Popping in and out of the double at 7 A and B. Now coming round to fence eight. It's just up that fence down and on the four. Just keeping it to the four. Fence six was the fence that fell to the combination. Single stride, upright, parallel. Two strides out over the upright. And then down to what is the last on the course. The Stuttgart fence is the uh, final fence, 68-64. So it uh, doesn't look to be too many troubles in terms of the time allowed. That was Marvin Kandosiria, the first to go for Germany. Germany, France, Ireland, Belgium, Great Britain, Sweden, Norway, all represented in this class alongside uh, Finland as well. So plenty of nations taking part. Short series finishes in uh, Mechlin between Christmas and New Year. Well, this is the turn of uh, Emma Gay Le Breton. Riding Bad Boy de Beaumont, number 16. Rode at the Pony Europeans with this pony this year. Finished individually in sixth place. Oh dear. Well... Hopefully she's all okay. Pony looks to be absolutely fine. It was just one of those really difficult moments. So little you can do when the pony just stops like that. Well, they're just going to take a moment, making sure everything's okay. There's a fabulous team down there on the arena floor that'll... Uh, just take a few moments to uh, catch the pony, making sure as well the rider is uh, A-OK. -okay. And then we'll reset and uh, look to go again. There's a long way to go in this class. A ripple of applause says for a uh, positive outcome. And uh, both pony and rider are absolutely fine. So, as you can see, we're swiftly moving on because the next is already cantering forward. We uh, still need a clear. This is our next to go. That'll be Leonie Asman riding uh, Hank and Fax. This little nine year old mare by Halifax. Leonie, 15 years of age. For Germany, rode in the Youth Cup finals in uh, Bielbergen in the Netherlands at the end of September. Part of that Nations Cup team.
Jones coming back up across the middle at six. Brings you up to this double parallel in. Single stride upright out. Gave that a little rattle at the front part. Six strides down and over the upright. Four strides to the parallel. Into the final line and still clear. Lovely control through the combination. And there you have it. The opening clear goes to Germany. To Leonie Asman and uh, Hackett of Facts. Clear round. Really lovely round of jumping. Very, very assured. So now it's a case of who will join us. She knows, though, she will be first to go in that jump off with whoever, however many, get through. Well, the next to go is the turn of Ireland. This is Kate Kenny. Riding Donard Trixie Mix. Young pony. Only an eight-year-old. Eight, 16 years of age. International outing back in April. Really using all of the space available to her, getting nice and straight. Much easier to jump than when you're on a slight angle, and unfortunately, just running on a little bit towards the double. Keeping it on the four. In, over, and out. Just one final fence left. Ooh, and the back rail goes down on the last as well. So uh, two fences fall. Eight faults becomes the total. Again, time allowed, causing no real trouble. They're getting uh, in within about five or six seconds inside the time allowed so far, if not a little more. So. That is a total of eight for the first of the challenges from Ireland. Ireland, of course, who came first and second in the competition here yesterday with uh, James Derwin and Ben Walsh. One clear, that is, for Germany. As the next to go rides for Belgium. It is uh, Lori Tereskins riding Navajo. Belgian warm blood with wonderful smile behind. 15 years of age. Another that rode at the Pony European Championships this year on this pony. Finished individually in 21st place. She also rode at the Pony Europeans in 2021 with this ride where she found herself inside the top 10 individually, finishing 7th. Now round to the combination and still clear at the moment. And there is another clear. So Belgium joining Germany in that jump off against the clock because uh, Laurie has uh, negotiated and navigated this course perfectly. That well deserved, very experienced combination. And uh, Laurie there joining Leone 
in that jump off round over the shortened course that'll come up a little bit later on. Lapu Lanz Yulai is the ride for Tilly Bamford. Great Britain's turn now. Tilly, 14 years of age. was part of the British team this year at those European Championships. She individually finished in 20th place. We saw her also jumping in Lyon. She was part of the British Nations Cup team that took victory at the Youth Nations Cup finals in Peelbergen. Proving to be a very talented individual. Oh dear, she just had a little hop skippy stride just before the fence and it just unbalanced her and the pony wasn't quite where she needed it. Well, that is unusual for these two. They've had such a successful season. But not every day can be the perfect day. And today is not that. Kept her composure, recovered well so far. And jumps the last to uh, wrap it up on eight. But it is just those uh, couple of little mistakes really all came from the first one. And the pony just uh, slightly unsettled. So uh, Lapidus Uli there and Tilly Bamford finishing on a score of eight as one of the two uh, British riders in this class. Two clears. Leonie Asman and Laurie Chickens. Next to go, it'll be a turn for France. Janelle Rabelio riding dance floor de Coure. Can France become part of the round as well? This is a nine-year-old pony. Janelle, 16 years of age. Saw her on home soil in the pony class in Lyon two weeks ago. This pony, very experienced international pony. Another has had a good year, had a very good win in uh, Villa de Comte in the Pony International. Oh, hang on a moment. Are we shuffling the order around a little bit here? In fact, Antonia Hassler. Has come forward. Has she? A little bit of confusion. We'll get that confirmed in a moment. Oh no, this is Chanel. It was Antonia that had come in a little early. So my apologies, but we are there now. The grey gives it away. Dance floor du Coré by Isenfar de la Brent. So good luck to this young lady for France. Oh, first fence goes down and it's going to be a long ride. And to keep her balance, just getting thrown just a little bit forward and sideways as she landed over the second fence as well. Pony pulling quite strongly. You can see she's having to work quite hard. Trying to sit the pony back. Certainly going to have longer arms when she's finished this round. This pony is uh, really tugging. So 
Well, full marks to her. She got round and actually did a very good job. The pony really pulling away all the way round and she having to do all she could to just try and keep that balance and control and it was just becoming more and more difficult in places and unfortunately finishing on a score of 16 but just see that running on and just not able to have the space. I see our friends are back. Hello. Our mascots here in Stuttgart. Still then two clears as we uh, sort of hit the reset button and go with uh, this partnership now for Germany. It is Antonia Hasler riding Clarissa NRW. Stephalian Mare, 13 years of age. Antonia, 14. Rode this season on the Junior European Championship team where she was part of the gold medal winning team on a horse called uh, Dynamite N in Oliva Nova back in the summer. With a pony, she just had that fence down. Much better further into the course. Read the combination brilliantly as well, and now jumps the last to uh, wrap it up. Oh, we're time full. 74.09, just over the 74 seconds. One fault for every commence second, so it is uh, just one to add to four to five. It is as a total. Uh, Antonia Hessler for Germany and that ensures we still just have the two clear rounds. Leonie Asman for Germany and uh, Laurie Dracchens for Belgium. The one and two clears. A lot of jumping still to go though. As we move on, this is Robin Vermeer. Crystal Sparkle van Bergerveld is the pony. This lovely little mare. Robin, who is just 12 years of age. Oh dear. And just comes around that corner and just... And refusal, which brings the bell and elimination, unfortunately, for them both. What a shame for that young lady. Got a bright future in the sport, but on Vermeer today with the two stops and elimination on Crystal Sparkle van Bergerveld. Just jumping a fence before she leaves. And still there are two clears. Plenty of people here today enjoying the sport. Now it is the turn of our next to go. Cohen Williams, Z Tech, Ireland. We have plenty of strength in this class. This young man, 16 years of age, part of that gold medal winning team at the Pony Europeans this year on Saxton Freedom. He also took the individual bronze medal.
Well, they found the answers to all the questions up till now, but there is a final line yet to jump. Now with just one fence, could it be number three? Yes, it is. And Ireland, who had their day yesterday, could have another today because they've all well got one rider through to the jump off. Kern Williams is clear. So brilliantly done. He threw it's Ireland joining Belgium and Germany in that round against the clock. So well done, Zetec. Now Ireland go again. This is the turn of Ellen Power and Ghost Rider. Ellen is also 16. Was on the Pony European Championship team the previous year. And the Irish team just missed out on the podium. They finished in fourth place. Had a very good win with this pony in uh, Zürwald in that Pony International back in the summer. Ghost Rider now 20 years young, this uh, wonderful grey, this Irish sports horse, and still jumping so, so well. well I say that, and unfortunately, they have the next fence down. Well, that one fence costs them the chance to be part of the jump off. They finish on the four. Bad luck, Ellen, Ellen Power and uh, Ghost Rider. It's fence eight that gives them the trouble and uh, four faults the score. You can see they're just hanging a leg, hanging a hoof just ever so slightly on the right hand side, lower, and it's enough just to catch the pole. And still there were three, three clears so far. Well, this is the turn of our next to go, and it is a chance for Sweden. Vilja Olinga Axelsson rides Baravani Shadow. Young pony, nine years of age. Vilja, 16. Also at the Pony Europeans this year with this pony. That, uh, finished sixth in this uh, equivalent class, the Pony Trophy class in Lyon in France two weeks ago. Again, try to get into the jump off now in Stuttgart as they come round to the final line of fences. Clears the combination. And it's Sweden through as well. Four riders, four nations with their four ponies all clear. Vidya Olinger Axelsson joins the list and joins Cohen Williams, Laurie Trekins, and Leonie Asman. So uh, Sweden now in with Ireland, Belgium and Germany. The four through to the jump-off round so far. Look at that. The moment she landed over the last fence, she's already leaning forward and patting her pony. This is uh, our next up. It's uh, a chance for the Dutch with uh, Ritzke van Minderorp. Riding Jolly. Let's who is uh, 14. Rode in the junior category, the 
Europeans this year. Still clear. Well, again, just say that and then, then the pole goes down. What a shame. It's been one of those courses, though, you're just not quite sure if and where and what they may have down, which uh, full compliments to the course designer. That's a, a very suitable challenge for these uh, riders to work out. Renske van der Minderop finishing then on a score of four. And uh, we hold fire on four clears. Well, this is the turn of Norway now. Shannon's joy. Julie Arabrot Skiai. Dropped well here. Yesterday finished in the top ten. Julie 15. Rode this pony at the Europeans as well. Also put in a very good performance in Dramen back in September in the uh, Pony International. And there is another through to the jump off in Norway as well. Julia Robotskiai and uh, Shannon's Joy. Of course, nine left to go. They're uh, coming back in reverse order of how they finished yesterday's class. Yesterday sort of acting as the qualifier in terms of setting the start order. So the winner yesterday going last today in the opening round. And then the jump off order set by their uh, round one start order so uh, in some ways the more informed ponies here in Stuttgart are uh, yet to come but already on the five clear rounds as now Leone Panda riding the Milla A this nine year old mare and another chance for Germany Leone 15 jumped the pony at the Youth Nations Cup final in Bilbergen. These two were third in the Grand Prix in Hagen back in August. Well, we said that the best were coming later, and now they're really starting to show their skills. So Leone Panda and uh, Indimil A is clear as well, and it means now Germany have two through, and that jump off is building up rather nicely. Six through, it is looking very, very exciting. And uh, there's still, I'm sure, quite a few more 
that will find their way through and clear because there is lots of talent in the pony ranks here for the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy in Stuttgart. Now it is the turn of our next. Emil Morand riding Ami. 16 year old mare. This another chance for Germany. This young man, 16 years of age. Again, a pony European team rider as he has been for uh, both 2021 and 2022. This year, though, these two finishing in the top 10 in the individual rankings. Very forward into the double, almost 240. And himself, you could see he was going to be a little bit of either a long way off. And instead of trying to shorten up and take an extra stride, he pushed on. Goes back to what I said, you're never quite sure with this course which particular bit might catch you out. Very well designed. Well ridden apart from that one error. It is uh, Emil Boran there and Ami for Germany. Still the clears remain the same. Still at the moment, the six of them. That little run of two comes to a little stop. Still riders to go though for Germany and for the likes of Great Britain, Finland, Belgium, Ireland. With that rider still in the draw. Next to go will be another challenge for Germany as we just watched some of the replays here of Emil. This though is uh, Franco Clementine uh, Krolloy riding Kremlin van Orchid. Franca 15. These two were second in the Grand Prix for the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy in Aquita Lyon two weeks ago. Did well through the double because she lost a little bit of energy jumping in. That is four. You can look at form, you can look at past results. You never quite know with horses and jumping what's going to happen until you get in the ring. It was second in Leon, but today it will not be for the second round as uh, finishing on that score of four. So for the combination for Germany there, Franco Clementine Koroi. So that was Kremlin van Orchids. So Leonie Asman, Lori Shaikens, Cohen Williams, Vilja Olinda, Axelson, Julie Arbrot, Sky, and Leonie Panda. They at the moment are the clears. Next to go is ready because this is the turn of Ruby Bars for Great Britain. Sixth place yesterday in the one round faults and time. Casper, this evanescent 17 year old gelding. Ruby, who is 15 years of age. Another that we saw in Lyon two weeks ago. She Finished in seventh place that day in the Grand Prix. Ruby and the Pony, part of the winning Nations Cup team, the Youth Nations Cup final back at the end of September.
Okay, the final part of the double, a tiny little rub, but still looking very composed, keeping a nice balanced rhythm. Time allowed, as I said earlier, was 74. It hasn't really caused any issues, and at the moment, Ruby then just turning up into what she'll know is the final line. Now we're just one final fence to go. Great Britain join the jump off as well as the clear comes from Ruby Vars and Casper. And that is number seven. Six nations, seven riders. Germany the only one with two as it is. So she'll be delighted. Well done Ruby Vars and well done to Casper as they fly into the jump off of the FEI jumping pony trophy. Well, the next to go is Belgium, Martha Louis Du, riding uh, Zarowski. Another young pony, this is an eight year old mare, Belgian warm blood. Martha, 14 years of age, looked very good here yesterday. She comes, this roll back turn, back across the middle, then up to the double. But only just pricking its ears, looking forward, jumping well. So, uh, Belgium, Martha Louise uh, Dewey there going clear and a uh, pony pat well deserved. And the clear is just building and building. We're up to nine. What a jump off <laughs> when this Lee's uh, young stars begin to push, begin to fly against the clock. We're in for something quite spectacular. So exciting times ahead, but still not done in this opening round as we still have four more left to go first of those four is uh, of course fourth place yesterday this is uh, Rachel Thornbrum rides for Finland with the Helga T-H-O Helga who is uh, also 16 rode this pony to individually sixth place at the pony European Championships in the summer she also rode in Lyon a couple of weeks ago. Of course, those Pony Europeans are the ultimate aim for all of these jockeys. It is a chance for them to represent their country at a international championship event. Of course, plenty of them having a chance as well at uh, differing Nations Cup events. But it all plays in the uh, selection they all look for, they all work towards, they all want is that chance to go on a European Championship team. It is where the best at their level come together. They jump against their peers. And unfortunately, here today, Finland's challenge on a score of four as well. But they have the front rail off the last, so it suddenly becomes eight. What a good day it was yesterday. Today, not having the same sort of luck for Rachel uh, Tumbalon there, and that little runner clears that was building again stops. And then we stick with eight at the moment, with three still to jump.
salute to the uh, members of the grand jury for the uh, last chance out for Germany. Jolie Maricuna riding Del Piero II. This is an eight-year-old. Younger ponies in the class, in fact. And Jolie herself only 13 years of age. These two competed in Lyon, just missed out on the top 10 in the Grand Prix, finishing in 11th place. Probably been two or three now in this class that have come unstuck at the first part of that double and again just showing how things, how fortunes can change from one day to the next. Keeps it to four, but it is the double going in that goes and uh, for Germany there. It isn't to be with that combination. And of course, Jolie Marie Cuda and Del Piero the second. Germany have got clears though. Three so far, three of the eight. I take that back, it's two of the eight. One of the eight is for Ireland. The final two to go are both for Ireland. Now, this is Ben Walsh. Brilliant yesterday on uh, Denny Vane Bell. He was so early to go in the class and he, he led for such a long time. In the end, pipped to the post by his uh, compatriot, but it was a great performance. Ben, who's 16. And this partnership was third in the equivalent class in France two weeks ago. Really had to ride that double. Now just getting to the end of the track and rides another brilliant round. So second clear for Ireland. A brilliant round from Ben Walsh once more. Very, very strong performance. looks very very good and we saw yesterday just how quick they could be as well great way of doing it using the order from yesterday to set the order today which of course in turn has an effect on the jump off giving you the fastest towards the finish well talking of fastest there was nothing to touch James Durbin yesterday Rinkula Babog the Wonderful little 11-year-old stallion for this uh, partnership, of course, for Ireland. James, 14 years of age, was the individual and team gold medal winner at the Pony European Championships. The best of them all. Part of that winning team and the uh, best of the individuals on this pony as well. So looking again to bring it all together here. clear rounds in this class so far oh 
very, very lucky at the upright. Well, you need a little bit of luck sometimes. I think he's just used his joker card. Now, combination to the last. There'll be 10 back against the clock with that clear round. He uh, can try to make it the double. James Dervin for Ireland, the European champion in the ponies, is the clear to make it three for Ireland. 10 in all come back against the clock in the jump off. What a jump off lineup we've got as well. We've got two for Germany, three for Ireland. Also in there, Belgium, Great Britain. You've got Norway, Sweden. It is, in fact, two of them are for Belgium. So uh, interesting times ahead. Leonie Asman, Lonnie Chakins, Cohen Williams, Wilma Olinger Axelson, Julie Arbrantsky, Leonie Panda, Ruby Vars, Marta de Louise Douai, Ben Walsh, and James Derwin. We'll be back against the clock very shortly here in Stuttgart for the German Masters. And this, the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy.
das ist Nummer 3, nur von der anderen Seite zu springen. Dann geht es zu Hindernis Nummer 15, da werden Sie sagen, das war doch Nummer 8, das stimmt jetzt, ist es aber ein Steilsprung und kein Ochser und er hält deswegen ebenfalls eine neue Hindernisnummer. Dann die Distanz, die Sie kennen, zu Hindernis Nummer 4 als nächstes. Der Ochser mit den weiß-grünen Schlangen. Und dann gilt es ein bisschen zu galoppieren und eine der mitentscheidenden Wendungen sicherlich, nämlich aus der Wendung heraus, wartet dort hinter das Nummer 6 von der linken Hand, dieser schmale Steilsprung mit dieser einfarbigen weißen Stange. Dann weiter galoppierend die zweifache Kombination. Davon ist jetzt noch das erste Element da geblieben. 7a der Ochse. Und dann heißt es rechte Hand danach eng wenden. Weiter zu Hindernis Nummer 9. Der Fernsehturm Stuttgart wartet dort als nächste Aufgabe und schauen wir, wo sie dann lang reiten. Denn dann wartet 11b, 11c. Steil Ochse, Steil Kombination. Und dann, wie abschließend eben im Umlauf, Hindernis Nummer 12, der letzte für unsere zehn Paare. Ladies and Gentlemen, the course of the chapter, number 14, 15, number 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, B. Well, here we go. It is jump off time. Yes, you just had a little look at the course. It is uh, set and ready. Christy Young, our course designer, is uh, certainly uh, giving them plenty to think about. Twists, turns and gallops are plenty. It's all in there. It's a real mix. It's going to be some key moments as they find their way around this arena. So they start over what was fence three. It's now 14 because they're jumping in the reverse direction round to 15 and a uh, vertical that where fence eight was. And then they'll move up and around. We'll take you there as uh, we get started with the uh, first to go then in this jump off round. It is, as they uh, gave us that opening clear, Leonie Asman and uh, Hankifax H. Round we come back and down already on a score of four. And keep moving. It's a long old, look at this turn. It's a real make your mind up, a rider's turn. They'll challenge and dare themselves as the uh, class goes on for how tight they're willing to come back. And then it's a looping S of fences across the arena into what is now a double parallel upright and then all the way to the finish to jump the last as well. So there we have it. It's a score of 8, 45, 8 is the final time but the fences have fallen and it's that last down as well so that was Leonie Asman that was Hanky Fax now we move from Germany to Belgium Who's going to be the first to put a clear round on, and that will really put the pressure on all of those still to come. Laurie now, Laurie Schäkens, riding here with Navarro. Gallop all the way. And of course, once you've opened them up, using the turn to just bring the pony back. Lovely turn in as well. Round she comes to the right. About a skinny little upright, quite narrow. And unfortunately the pony just dancing a little from side to side. Well, they finish on four. It's the best of the two, but it's still not a clear. 42.06 is quicker again in terms of time. Door still wide open for those riders yet to go. You can see it there. The pony just jinked a little bit to the right. And then she had to bring the pony back to the left. And that's the sort of moment where you just you lose the balance ever so slightly. Remember, these fences are not small. They're jumping a height of 1 meter 35 out there today. So, one on four, one on eight.
Plenty still to jump. Still another chance for Belgium. Still another chance for Germany. And still three chances as well for Ireland. It's Ireland who we're waiting for. I'm not sure what's happened, whether there's a little issue out the back, but uh, hopefully you're not going to wait too much longer. Plenty of people meeting our favourite friends down there, taking a moment to uh, get their picture taken with the mascots here for the Stuttgart German Masters. Thumbs up, smiles all round. All still to come here today, we've got the FEI Dressage World Cup and the uh, big five-star jumping class both coming this evening. Well, now we move to the next to go. This is Cohen Williams. This is Zetec. It is Ireland's first chance, first of the three. Still no clears. Will he give us the first? Now this long run round the corner, how tight will he come? In the middle of the previous two, taking a middling line. Now turn right-handed. Where is he going to be? Is he still going to be clear coming into the final line? No, he's not. It's proving to be a difficult fence to jump in this jump off. Number nine. Set out there in the middle on the turn and uh, 40.54 is the fastest. He does for the moment go into the lead. But even Cohen will realise that with a fence down, it probably won't be enough at this stage. There's still seven to go in this jump off. We've only seen three. And there's not only some quick, but some very good jumping ponies and riders still left in the draw. Done is all. And at the moment... It's the best of those we've seen, but yet to get the clear as the next is ready. It's going to be for Sweden now. This is Varia Olenga Aklsen riding Barra Valley Shadow. And again, we're not going to get a clear. Jumping at a premium. Pace is one thing. But jumping clears comes first. I think that yellow upright becomes harder when they're trying to look to drop inside just after it. Well, we're still putting in a very good Finish to the round, but it is four early on. Second fence down, 43-72 will go into third place. For Vilja Olinga Axelsen there for Sweden. Not their day either. At the moment then, Cohen Williams leading 40.54, quick and though on a score of four. Next up will be for Norway, Julie Arabrotsky are riding here with Shannon's Joy. Very wide on the turn, giving herself all the space she needs. Now back to this tricky little yellow upright. Which she jumps without any trouble. Now we can think about the clear. The time to beat not relevant if she leaves the fences up. Because we still are yet to see a clear. 
And there is the opening clear. 45, 81, a little bit steadier, but uh, jumping, as I said earlier, is what comes first. And there's the first clear. Goes into first place, Juliana Ronotskia and uh, Norway there, moving to the top of the leaderboard with uh, Shannon's Joy here in the FBI Jumping Ponies Trophy. A lovely round of jumping. Well, she certainly will be very pleased with the way that has turned out, but she will also be fully aware that she has left time on the table. In fact, of all the rounds, that is the slowest, but it is the first clear. Now we move on because it is Leone Panda. Leone Panda here for Germany with Indimil A. Of course, the deeper we go into the draw of the jump off, as we know, is the faster the combinations from yesterday's class. Very, very tight, really taking a risk. Look to go inside, and I said just a short while ago, I think that's when that becomes so difficult. She hasn't got a stirrup. She lost her pedals. She's coming home. Not sure she can, she's still going to keep going. Who needs uh, stirrups anyway in this sport? She had one. But the one on the right-hand side went with the turn and the problem there. So Leone Panda rolling the dice, but her number's not coming up because that bent went down, and it was a score of eight at the end of it. So, Norway, the only clear at the moment. Shannon's Joy, 45-81. So far, the only clear. Left to go, Great Britain, Belgium, and two for Ireland. 45-81 is the time to beat. First of the final four is Ruby Bars for Great Britain. Wonderful Casper is the ride. What can this young lady do? 15 years of age. She'll know it's quite a, stuff, a, a, quite a stern challenge in terms of the time if she wants to jump it clear because although we've seen people going a little bit quicker it's always brought mistakes with it but can she be the first to find pace accuracy and a clear all at the same time well she's gone as tight as we've seen any rider on that rollback turn you can see that from the marks on the floor she's certainly leaving as little as she can for the final three to challenge her sensible comes round now, double to the last. Plenty of time on her side. Jumps the final fence and Ruby Vars and Casper lead for Great Britain. Nearly two seconds faster. It was that turn back in the middle of the course to the upright at six. It was quite sensational. Compared to all those we've seen, the first that brings together pace and accuracy and a clear look at that brilliant turn and the pony really wanted to work with her still she had to ride that round and she certainly found her best way round so there we have it it's Great Britain leading the way at the moment Ruby Bars 43.95 but we move on because next up it is the turn of uh, Marcia Louise Dewey and Zarowski for Belgium. can see just coming that much wider but she never quite had the stride and that's gone 
So Ruby will still lead and has now guaranteed a top three finish. The young British rider, knowing that there are two to go. Of course, the two to go are the top two from that opening class yesterday. Forty six thirty one steady at the end and also with fault so goes into sixth place. So certainly been getting racked up in this jump off. Still then two clear rounds, Ruby Bars and Julie Adamot's guides. So Great Britain, Norway, the top two. Ireland with the fastest four, Cohen Williams sitting in third. Them jump the replay of the last before now we focus on Ben Walsh with Derivane Bell two to go the first Ben then James of course both riding for Ireland time to beat 43.95 with a clear And this is not clear. Ruby Bars and Julie Adamotsky now both know that they are guaranteed second and third at least. Well, 42.88 on that score of four. It's going to go into fifth place for that partnership of Ben Walsh. Two consistent outings in the Pony Trophy, Lyon and now Stuttgart, but he'll have wanted so much more. And this pole is what's, what's cost him being able to go any higher. I mean, his time is faster than Ruby's, but Ruby is clear and still there is just two clears with one more partnership left to go in this FEI jumping ponies trophy here comes the last winner of the class yesterday part of the team that took the gold at the pony Europeans and of course he himself with this pony is now the pony European champion, the individual gold medalist. James Derwin, last to go, Rinkula Babog. Try to chase down Great Britain's Ruby Vaz. Heard just how tricky this jump off is proving to be for many. Oh dear! He went for the turn, and unfortunately, there just wasn't a stride there when he got there. He came in quite tight. Well, disappointment. You have to give him full marks for trying. He really looked to try and come in tight. But unfortunately, just asking too much on this one occasion, and it just doesn't work out. Now, the pony almost went to put down in the first part of the double. He's recovered well, actually. He went on and jumped a fence just to make sure the pony left with some degree of confidence because it, it sort of put itself out of kilter. And then that's why I had the problem in the second part of the double. Well, what a shame to end it that way for Nkula Babog and uh, James Derwin, the European champion, the big winner here yesterday. But congratulations to Great Britain's Ruby Vars and uh, to Casper, the young lady, British rider, wins the FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy here in Stuttgart. Second going to Judy Adam Rotsky and uh, Shannon's Joy, the only two clears in this jump off. And there you can see it. And then it's uh, Cohen Williams, Z-Tech, that takes third. A famous day 
for Ruby. Well done to her. A very, very well ridden round of jumping. Casper looking good. So there you have it, the uh, full result of the uh, FEI Jumping Ponies Trophy, the Grand Prix for the ponies. Big money class to come tonight here for the five-star riders in uh, Stuttgart on this uh, very, very exciting Saturday. That uh, tonight will uh, get underway at 8.30 here. Of course, I'm using local time wherever you're watching. 8.30 this evening. And, of course, next up, it's the second of the FEI World Cups. The FEI Dressage World Cup, the Grand Prix Freestyle, is ready from five here. And uh, I hope that if you're able, you will uh, tune in via FEI TV and uh, join us for that as well. But we'll be back as well on Clip My Horse tonight for the 8.30 start of that big money jumping competition. We look forward to uh, catching up plenty more and let's remind you as well tomorrow not only do we have uh, more dressage in the morning it is the Longines FBI Jumping World Cup the Grand Prix of Stuttgart the uh, big class that we've been building towards all week here that is on Sunday afternoon at three o'clock. In the meantime I'll leave you with a presentation of the ponies.
So, da sind Sie, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, Elfle und Pferde mit dabei. Sie grüßen das Stuttgarter Publikum. Grüßen wir Sie zurück mit einem großen Applaus. Für Deutschland. Wir gratulieren in die Bildung. Leonie Panda. Das hat man bei Ihnen zu Er ist in der zu Belgien. Swarovski und Marguerite. Jumping Ponies Trophy. Unsere Plätze 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 und 4. Und somit freuen wir uns auf Platz 3, 2 und 1. Denn angeführt unsere Top 3 von unseren Siegern. Die 36. Stuttgart German Masters. Und das vierte Mal Station der FBI Jumping Ponies Trophy. Gewinnt mit einer fehlerfreien Runde im Stich in 43,95 Sekunden. Der 17-jährige Wallach Kasper. And congratulations, Ruby Fars, Great Britain! Wie es sich gehört, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, ehren wir nun unsere Siegerfahndung mit der Hymne Großbritanniens. Ich darf Sie bitten, sich von Ihren Plätzen zu erheben. Ladies and gentlemen, we honor the winner with the National Anthem of Great Britain. Congratulations. 
Es gibt einen Ehrenpreis, überreicht von der Nico Kütterer für Sponsoring und Events. Ensinger Mineralheilquelle, der wird begleitet für die Turnierleitung von Andreas Krieg. Samt der offiziellen Glückwünsche der FWI des Internationalen Weltreiterverbands gratuliert unser Gastrichter aus der Schweiz, Herr Bruno Lauscher. Nach einem strahlenden Lächeln für das Siegerfoto gratuliert auch Stuttgart nochmal mit einem Applaus für unsere Siegerin für Ruby Fars. Das ist aber nicht nett. Unsere Sponsoren brauchen wir schon noch. Gratulieren wir dem zwei platzierten Paar. Ebenfalls Doppel Null waren Shannon's Joy und Julie Arbo Sky aus Norwegen. From away. Das war zum dritten. Der 13-jährige irische Wallach, C-Tag und Kurt Williams from Ireland aus Irland. Ja, Pferde und Äste gehen mal wieder an den Rand. Machen sich bereit, damit sie gleich hinterher galoppieren auf der Ehrenrunde. Und wir sagen Dankeschön, Dankeschön der FBI Jumping Ponies Trophy, dass Sie hier waren, hier bei uns in Stuttgart. Dankeschön der Ensinger Mineralheilquellen und vor allem Dankeschön an unsere hervorragenden Pony Springreiter. Und die feiern wir nun, angeführt auf der Ehrenrunde von unserem Siegerpaar Kaspar und Ruby Fars, the Lab of Honor. Das war der Pony-Sprung, meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren. Wir hoffen, es hat Ihnen gefallen. Hat es Ihnen gefallen? Dann machen wir das wieder, würde ich sagen, nächstes Jahr. Jetzt erst einmal haben wir allerdings einen Veranstaltungsabschnittswechsel. Wir hoffen, es hat Ihnen, wie gesagt, gefallen. Wir freuen uns, wenn wir heute Abend weiter in unserer Gäste sind. Wir sind ausverkauft heute Abend. Das heißt, wer heute keine Karte hat, den müssen wir bitten, morgen wieder zu kommen. Dafür gibt es noch ein Restkartenkontingent. Schauen Sie gerne wieder dabei. Ansonsten eine gute Heimfahrt und bleiben Sie gesund. Vielen Dank.
Machen Sie sich unabhängig von Stromreiserhöhungen und produzieren Sie Ihren eigenen Strom. Mit einer Solaranlage von Walter Solar. Wir erstellen auch für Ihr Gebäude ein individuelles Energie- und Sanierungskonzept und sorgen damit für Planungssicherheit und Betriebskostenstabilität. Denn die Sonne schickt keine Rechnung. Walter Solar. Ihr Weg in das solare Zeitalter. sind Augenblicke, die die Sinne verzaubern. Töne, die Gänsehaut erzeugen. Momente, die für die Ewigkeit bleiben. Klänge, die uns träumen lassen. Und Siege, die uns zu Helden machen. Allianz, gemeinsam zu Macht gestalten. Spitzensportler, Klipperausstiffer und FEE-TV sind gut vereint.